Grogu and welcome everyone to All You Can Geek Movie Cast episode 522. Oh, I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinside. How long have you been uh, waiting to do that, Jim? <laughs> Since so, Friday? Five, five days. <laughs> and Tony Korkadakis. Hello. Welcome, guys. Welcome, listeners, to 522 of the Movie Cast. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, post Thanksgiving, guys. I hope you all had a very happy Thanksgiving and uh, enjoy this one. And, uh, Safe and healthy, and got some good deals. You know, I don't know. I I got some good stuff. Oh, good. We'll have to yeah. share. Mostly game stuff. Like, movie-wise stuff, I bought the digital version of Back to the Future. Nice. Um, because I didn't have the 4K version of that, and it was like $15 on Apple. And I was like, well, that's an easy purchase, because then that's a movie anywhere thing. Um, mm mm-hmm. My, my problem with these digital purchases is Vudu every now and again doesn't support the movies anywhere with their movies. So it's like, yeah. whereas Apple always seems to do it. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to buy it through Apple. Mm. Um, that's always my hesitation on Vudu because Vudu right now has a three for $15 on 4K movies. But I don't know if they're going to show up everywhere. And, I, you know, and Vudu doesn't work on Amazon Fire Sticks, the Fire oh, TV. Really? So, um, yeah, no, there's no Vudu. So, um, not to mention they got bought by Fandango. So it's like they're going away. And what does mm. that mean? You know, we get into this digital ownership thing again. Yeah, there it is. But uh, it's there it rearing is. its head. There it is. So, but anyways, let's get into what we've been up to, guys. Uh, besides Mandalorian, um, I have uh, watched. Let's see. I finished. I don't. I don't think I finished the um, Blood of Zeus before on last podcast. I finished that now. I'm not sure if I finished it then. I think that's you done. did because we did yeah. talk about the finale a little bit and how. Yes, that's right. It was a great finale. It was ready. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I, I watched I watched an episode. I didn't watch much more this week because I really got into some gaming. But um, I watched The Great Pretender, an anime mm. on Netflix. Uh, yeah, uh, I heard about that. Yeah, that, yeah. It, was, it was a good first episode. Um, interesting, interesting. It's different. I mean, it's very anime, definitely. <laughs> uh, sure. um, it hits those hits hits those checklist part uh, items. Um, but um, I you know I thought it was good. I'm going to continue watching that. Uh, I also watched. Um, Star Trek stuff. So, you know, CBS All Access, I watched uh, their Discovery episodes. Uh, I really like that show a lot. I can't, I always say that a lot. I, I think that's a fantastic show. It's like, I can't believe they made a Star Trek show like that good. I, I It's mm-hmm. weird to say, but like, not that it's a non knock on the other shows, but it's like amazing the production qualities on this show. Uh, and then I watched The Lower Decks, which is the comedy version of that, the animated um, show. And I just, I think that's hilarious, that show. That It reminds me of almost like a Futurama. Uh, but with Star Trek, that's the best way to just like a mesh kind of thing. Um, so that's that's pretty much it for me. Um, I know I'm, I'm psyched for uh, is it Ted Danson's playing a mayor in a show coming out in July, uh, January. He's on CBS. I think he's playing a new 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 sitcom. Uh-huh. Uh, so I'm kind of excited at, at that. Yeah, he, yes. um, he plays the mayor of a of a town of a city. And uh, look, I guess I forget what it was called, but it looks, it looks, I saw the preview for that. It looks really good. I wanted to mention it. And so that's it for me though. Mike, what are you watching? Uh, aside from Mandalorian, just one more episode of Batman, the animated series. Um, got a month now to get through what I want to get through yeah. on DC universe. So I don't know. I might skip ahead to the new Batman adventures since I've never seen them. Uh, but I, it's just another episode, um, the Riddler Return episode. Uh, it's just funny to me that, that that's John Glover, you know, Lionel Luther from Smallville. Mm-hmm. Doesn't, he yeah. doesn't really sound like if you want to look for the voice and you can tell it's kind of him, but not really. Like, it doesn't jump at you. I know he's like, you know, 15 to 20 years older when I saw him on Smallville. But, uh, you know, so it, just interesting. And there is a little bit of continuity. They reference what happened. The, like previous time they he came across mm. the Riddler, this was the one with the like VR thing, and they got Commissioner Gordon trapped in the VR world, controlled by the Riddler. I don't know. He's always doing something with a game. The last one was the maze that was based on oh, yeah. a game the that Robin was playing. Yeah, so yep. it's interesting. Um, That's one of my favorite episodes, the Minotaur one. The yeah, maze of the Minotaur. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was one of my favorite episodes. It was Batman and Robin together. It was like, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. I just like the way they played the finish the clues they worked it out and it was like a teamwork it was really a teamwork effort which i don't know i just really like that um, it's that. interesting they made they kind of position robin and at least these two episodes as like the puzzle master almost yeah. like he's the one who's 
who's good at like fo- figuring out all these gamey type things. And Batman's like, yeah. I have no time for this stupid bullshit. <laughs> and Batman always, Batman always cheats uh, yep. at, at these games. I mean, the like, hand of fate. Robin's, yeah, Robin's <laughs> trying to figure yeah. it out the the right way, but yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was interesting. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be hard for me to sort of pick and choose what to watch in this last month before that goes away. But we'll see. All right. Um, Corey? It's mostly Mandalorian. That's it. Yeah. All right. Tony? Uh, Mandalorian and plugging away at the um, X-Men 90s cartoon still. Nice. Um, It's kind of crazy how, like, I find they use the animators, maybe the storyboard people too, but, like, I find, like, Rogue is very, like, I don't know, sexualized or, like, put in very, like, detailed like things are just like why is everybody I else just, like see i don't know maybe it's just me i'm looking too much into it but like she's like always in these positions i'm like girl what are you mm-hmm. doing like no wonder game it's always <laughs> the trying spine to hit, is not you know? supposed to bend that way <laughs> yeah exactly like no wonder game it's always trying to hit it and everything like that mm-hmm. but um yeah let's see uh, the highlight was you, you um, know she's gotta be like blue balling like crazy though yeah. oh yeah <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> like <laughs> i was just in, um i was just watching the episode where uh morph comes back and now he's evil because, you know, yeah. he, of course he is. And uh, yeah. he, he infiltrated the X-Mansion and, like, was, like, pretending to be each other to, like, mm-hmm. you know, kind of, like, infiltrate. Yep. And he pretends to be Rogue and, like, tells Gambit, like, oh, you should meet me in the rec room in, like, five minutes or whatever like that. And he goes right. over and she's like, he's like, I, he's I, like I, oh, maybe you want the uh, little kiss to wake you up and, like, just kisses her on the mouth and goes, ah, and, like, just falls over. I'm like, you're a fucking dumbass, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like how did people like you back in the night i don't understand it, but the accent uh, man yeah i guess they, the those accent. uh those um they re-released or not re-released they made them better they upgraded the action figures from that show yeah That's i like, just saw a target had them oh, no. uh, on a deal or something like that that's pretty really? cool I thought. Mm-hmm. well they're like 20 bucks though they're like super they're, cool. I mean, they're legend figures they're, they're legend figures yeah. yeah they're really good but yeah. yeah i have to go look at those because that's what the he-man stuff is they, they while they look the same they've been upgraded to have more bendable motion yeah. and stuff like that so yeah. articulation thank you uh so yeah i think that uh that'd be cool I'll have to check those out they're a target mm-hmm. yeah target oh, cool. the legends yeah, okay just, i think i think they, they had a deal of two on... for one two and get one free or something yeah, like that it still might be online you check Ooh, it out. but um i'm gonna check this out the highlight episode recently was uh, one where Bishop came back again, and they're like, "What are you doing here?" And he's like, "My future is still destroyed." And I'm like, "What the fuck?" And it's like some virus that uh, uh, apocalypse engineered or something like that. Yes, but then the same. <laughs> I remember that storyline because, <laughs> yeah. well, I don't know where you are. Or so or something. Oh, I finished it, but then Cable comes back, and Cable's trying to hunt down Bishop because he's like, "Oh, like the virus needs to happen for my future to exist." And, like, they're fighting. And I was like, oh, that's a cool, like, I'm not sure if that happened in the comics. But that's kind of a cool twist where it's like you have two mm-hmm. different time travelers, like, fighting each other and stuff so, like that. Yeah, so what I recall from that storyline is the first time really in that series where Wolverine's healing mattered. Mm-hmm. At all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets infected with the virus. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, Cable's just, like, watching. He's like, no, this needs to happen. We need his <laughs> antibodies. And, like, it's kind of scary watching this episode, you know, in 2020, because, like, they're all like, oh, this legacy, this virus, like, spread to, like, humanity after, like, it, you know, took out the mutants or something like that. I'm like, oh. It's like, okay, that's a little close to home. Yeah. <laughs> but and then, it's, uh, it's just funny because, like I said before, Wolverine spends, like, full episodes injured yeah. in, in, this, in this series. And he gets intentionally infected pretty much by this. And, like, he's, he's over it in, like, a minute. Yeah, he's over it in, like, a minute. <laughs> Um, and then another interesting thing was like at the end of the, the Days of Future Past saga, Wolverine just dies and like Forge just has like his adamantium skeleton just in like this water canister or whatever. I'm just like, mm-hmm. that's kind of like dreary and like dark for like a children's show. I'm like, holy shit. Like, you know, as a kid, you know what that means. It's not like, oh, look, it's skeleton armor or something like that. It's like, yeah, Wolverine fucking died. I don't know. <laughs> whatever. That's all yeah. I'm up to. Okay, and we got Mandalorian, guys. Uh, episode five came out, uh, and uh, yeah, I, don't really talk, I don't, I don't it think we really need to talk. I don't, I don't think we need to talk. It was a doozy. <laughs> um, so, what's funny about the title when you mentioned it last week, the Jedi? Um, and there, there'll be mild, mild, there'll be spoilers during this conversation, folks, because you know 
not much news this week. We'll get in the news in a minute, but not much news. So we're going to go into a little bit of uh, episode five, which all of, for, all of Star Wars canon spoilers, not just. Yeah, this show. I mean, for people who have watched any of the animated shows on TV, this is uh, a major episode for you. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, when they said when they said the Jedi was the title of this episode, I thought it was going to be like a fake out kind of thing. I didn't expect just to have the opening with Ahsoka. I was like, holy shit. Um I, like I was just like I think I was blown away from that beginning, and man, it was a great. I love this episode. Clearly, I well, don't think I could hate it. <laughs> uh, but I did find out that the the woman that plays the, the the original character that they created, the bad guy in this, is like Bruce Lee's like goddaughter or something like that, right? She's a she's related to Bruce Lee. Her father was a student of Bruce Lee's. Oh, a student. I thought she was like related to him. Okay. Sorry. All right. So. So, yeah, I have questions mostly for you guys who know more of these characters already. Uh, well, number one, what did you think about her, Ahsoka's portrayal? Like, was it, is there anything you didn't, didn't like about it? No, I think I that, she like portrayed... that she portrayed... I was going to say, I didn't like that she never denied it. Like, like I oh, I don't yes. know Jedi. Like, you're a Jedi. And I, she should have said, I'm, I'm, like, she should have said, I'm no Jedi. That that line would have made the episode, really. I'm no Jedi. Because that was like a line from her from the show. Um, and because uh, she's not a Jedi anymore, Mike. She left the Order. Well, their Order doesn't uh, really exist at this point, does it? No, <laughs> but, uh, and that's the idea. But uh, I think that her betrayal was fine. I just, I, you know what it is? It's, I have it, nitpicks. It's nitpicks. Yeah, nitpicks. You know, like, um, she did. She held her lightsabers, you know, face up a lot, which I was like, yeah, yeah. that's not and usual. The biggest thing was the fight sequence. I'm like, with the like the Vascar uh, stick. Yeah. Vascar. So I'm like, are you serious? Like, there is no cross guard, man. You just slice those fingers right off. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> to slide it right down. She, I think she was just toying with it because as soon as she, she eventually did switch to her traditional st- st- stance, Finally, and yeah. she she just like fucking older uh, as soon as that happened so like oh it's like that that really annoyed me i was like what are you why why what are you doing just like just end this right away but i guess i guess you could have been toying with it yeah but so the other other thing i'm wondering about is i know you guys (laughs) like this character because it's like an alternative kind of to the traditional jedi but she said all of the traditional jedi things in this kind of like oh no not attachments we don't want those or you know I can't. She's a very, all that she's stuff. a very traditional. She's a very traditional Jedi. That's the idea why she left the Order. She felt like they've they've gone astray. Okay. Uh, I would disagree with that. Actually, I would I would argue that Ahsoka is non traditional. Uh, oh, okay. tried to be brought up traditionally, and then I when she's like, "Well, way, the right? system is broke, Jedi Council. Maybe we should fix it." And they're like, "Yep." I mean, she was all I about see... pushing for change. Yeah, you know? that's true. Like, yeah, that's true. That's one of the reasons. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. That is the reason. I mean, I'm just looking back. Like she's very, um, I, the traditional is not the right word, right? It's more about like, yeah. I mean, her friend. I'm just thinking back to the uh, Clone Wars episode with a friend of hers uh, that got thrown in jail and who was just basically oh, she that person. Betrayed her. <laughs> but she said she, she would was... back. Like she do, she did it for um, the the right reasons because the Jedi Order had lost their way. Essentially, they've gotten more. You know. Well, I mean, there's so. yeah, there's different ways you. Can... And I think that's a wake up call for Ahsoka as well. Mm-hmm. So. so the the other question I wanted to ask you guys was I saw in the you know the the art that they show at the end she had one blue one red lightsaber and then this it looks like they were just white. No, they're, white. they're supposed to be white. <clears throat> I think when it was red was because she was deflecting a bull or something mm-hmm. like that. They're just probably like yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely not red. It was probably just like uh, you know the, they're supposed to be white, like the lights, you know, just reflections or whatever. Okay. But. Also, uh, there's story with those blades, uh, which they'll never get into unless they make a show for her. Then maybe we'll get into that story. But uh, well, which, there's, you know, the can't read out there. You can read it. Episode. You can you read just, why she has those blades. I don't know if you yeah. want to read that though. It's not <laughs> a great book, story. but it is. That's the only good thing out of the entire story, right? I, I don't think there's any disagreement yeah. how how she made those blades. Um, yeah. But you know, I think that. Like it was a good. I mean, just on that side of things, I think obviously that's a pitch to spin off its own series for Ahsoka. I don't think. You know, even like Grand Admiral Thrawn, I don't feel like is part of the the Mandalorian story. I feel like that's its own thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like I don't know. I don't know if that'll be a big bad for him later on. Maybe it will be. That'd be cool. But I, I still feel like Ahsoka, Ahsoka will get her own show where that will be the big bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely think so too. And just just going back to Ahsoka really quick. So I think Rosario Dawson like nailed her portrayal, like just in the mannerisms and even the way 
she speaks. Like it sounded yeah. naturally just like Ahsoka. It wasn't just like she adored, oh, okay, like, Ahsoka. She really she really nailed the Rebels Ahsoka. That's what she yeah. did really well. Yeah, yeah exactly. absolutely. Okay. That's what uh, I was gonna say. Like the, was... the Rebels. Like for me, I was watching. I'm like, I oh, see. Yeah, it's Ahsoka. I'm like, no, this is definitely Rebels Ahsoka. You could see the more old Jedi kind of knowledgeable kind of person than she was yeah. as a. As She's not that like master level at this point. So yeah, yeah. That's it. That's the word I'm looking for. So yeah, that's the other thing. Like like you said about that uh that spear fight. Like, are we supposed to know who this other character is? This the one? No, no. This was created no. for the show. Because why why could she hold her own there? This was one of the questions why I, I was wondering watching this. Well, Beskar they've already shown can apparently can reflect lightsabers. Yeah, no, I understand I, that, but yeah, and then she's just really still, good fighter. Really good fighter. I guess I don't know. Yeah. But I think I mean, a lot of it was also stalling. I mean, you're also stalling for time out there. That's going not stalling, but you're also kind of not playing, I guess. But you're also, you know, Mandalorian is out there in the with the. I loved how they did that, by the way. We're at the end of the episode right here, but like the the showdown of like, and I think I I listened, yeah, I, I listened to the po- a podcast that had this the best the best description of it was, uh, it is like pure Star Wars. There you have the old west showdown outside and inside a samurai kind of battle happening and it is like the combination of what star wars is uh at the root of star wars uh and i thought that was an awesome way to look at it uh the symbolism and stuff and um Mm -hmm. you know then there's a whole other aspect of this episode with the mandalorian and as we know now as i mentioned grogu um which is the name of the child i have mixed feelings about all his stuff the other thing i was kind of like was um is like Yaddle just not around then? Like Osoka was around. I guess she's dead apparently. Who? Oh. Yeah. Um, Yaddle was her name. Right? Is it Yaddle? She's like a such a small role. I mean, come on. Well, she's in the, the pre in the in the Phantom Menace. She's on the council. The Yoda, the the female Yoda. Yeah. She's uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. when when um Anakin's being tested. Like, yeah, nope. yeah, yeah. But um, what I really liked about the reveal of Grogu and his name and his backstory uh, was that he somehow – I mean, they didn't spell it out, but I'm i am pretty sure that he was there when Anakin fucked up the younglings. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, they basically all but said that. I mean, he's so. 50 years old, right? So – See, that, see that's the thing I didn't – one of the things I didn't like, I thought they would try to retcon that a little bit because if you if – you, like – extrapolate the math that like 900 year old yoda just dies pretty much of old age so it'd be like he was 90 so then it should be like you know 10 times what a human would be so if he was 50 it'd be more like he's five even though he mm-hmm. looks like he's one but then maybe he is supposed to be more five because it seems like now he's way more sentient than we thought i don't mm-hmm. know it i just that's the kind of weird thing about this to me because the fact that he's had like He's more five than one and more experienced and like actually but thinks things instead. This of... is a traumatic, but this like a, they made him like a traumatic bubble. Like he went to like a childhood kind of thing because of what, what he saw. That's well, the mean, idea. Still by his, he's still supposed to be like a five year old, I guess. I don't know. It's just kind of weird because, you know, he's been a baby like, and he's acted like a baby the whole time. And now it's just like, oh, he's, he saw we don't know. Shit. Well, we don't know enough about that species when they actually hit their, you know, maybe they're babies for a hundred years. I guess I don't know. It seems uh, I don't know. I kind of I always wondered if they was sort of like right off that fifty year things. Like, oh, we were just just kidding. It was like oh, twenty. You, I think that's months. just uh, just because he's nine hundred years old doesn't mean that he's it's like ninety Yoda, whatever. You know, who knows? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's not so, a big. Thing. I don't know. I, I feel but, like but, I like. But again, he seems like he's a, he's been a baby this whole time, yeah. like like a one year old. I would around. compare him to like a toddler at this point. Like it's clear he understands uh, the Mandalorian. Yeah. Like when he talks, sure. him, like the whole wire thing. He does thing. to like kind of walk around on his own and do things on his own here and there. So. Sure, but you know, I don't know. It, it'll it's just it'll be it's harder now to sort of have him just I mean, be definitely like, makes baby noises That's walking true. around making baby noises stealing food not listening to anyone you know i don't know <laughs> he's yeah. not getting much bigger either so <laughs> yeah he's already adult sized <laughs> yeah. but no the episode is good I mean, obviously we had the you know the, the thrawn thing at the end which like you were saying i do appreciate that uh i just I just it's unfortunate because we know what seven eight nine was and it's like yeah what does yeah. it matter 
So <laughs> we know where the end game's going. Well, so they like, could still they could still at least still tell a good story a getting time. to there. No, yeah. I, I I would hope so. But then like you lose out on all the whole Han Solo and all that stuff. You know, like, good. Good. I'm just saying that that that's where like they they screwed it all up. You know, that's what one of the biggest things for me was like seeing all these people come back and there's you know we missed out on all of their adventures. Well, I mean, you could still do that. Yeah, they there's, could a whole, do... there's like a 30-year window there. You can do whatever you want with these if, characters. If, if Solo didn't bomb, I'm sure like they do some more young Han Solo, and they could do like slightly older post-trilogy yeah. Solo you know, and stuff like that. I but guess so. Here's the thing. Who cares? Who gives a shit? Like, I don't care anymore. Like, if they were like, yeah, Han Solo after the trilo- like the original trilogy, I'd be like, I don't fucking care. Like, literally, I, I don't <clears> give a fuck. No, I, and I understand that aspect because all that stuff is terrible. It's just like now you're going to bring Thrawn in again, who is a fantastic character. Well, I don't, like I said, extended I, I or the Legends universe. Same, and it's, it's like the same thing to me. Again, like I said before, you <sighs> tie back to these characters again, so why not tie back to other characters? Because we don't I'm have enough like, of these I, other characters. Yeah, there's there's awesome stories to tell about these characters. Like, Grand Admiral Thrawn Solo. has... People who watch Solo Empire. seem to like it. I just didn't like it because of the actor. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't like it because it was solo. It didn't have to be solo. It could have been anybody else. It didn't matter. Like it could have just called it's it fine, another though. movie, made it its own. Call it the a smuggler's journey and co- make him a new character and make him the Mandalorian. There you go. See, yeah. we got the Mandalorian. So, yeah. We could have had this with Boba Fett, who could fuck. Yeah, but anyway, so yeah. so back to the thing. I mean, I think they're definitely setting up another series. I don't know if it's that rumored like Rebels follow up, where maybe it's Ahsoka centric. Uh, but I, d- I definitely think Thrawn is going to be that the big bad because my understanding of the Legends lore, Thrawn was instrumental in after the Death Star two blew up. He was still he was considered like the number one guy of the yeah. Empire still. So I'm yeah. wondering if they're going to follow that storyline where he sets up the essentially the First Order and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like that. Heir to the Empire. Um, my thing. Our uh, Jade man I missed out on all that I, too. What what I yeah. just had. I think I, I think I just had an amazing idea. What if Thrawn is Thanos to Star Wars, and we get him as the big bad for all of the shows? No, I don't want I don't I want Star Wars to <laughs> fucking be MCU. Like they can't they couldn't even recreate like the end game sequence where like all the ships appear at, out of fucking nowhere in hyperspace. Even though I mean, they clearly show that it was a dangerous ass fucking thing to do for no, one ship. Thing, though, like this is why mm-hmm. I think uh, you're a little off base with all this because Star Wars was the original. It's all connected. That's what made all the expanded stuff interesting. Yeah, that, but none of it was, it was good. Oh, well, but well, they can none make of it was good. good. They can it was good it. at first. You guys are all talking about expanded universe stuff. Or, Tony, that's all sort Tony, of tangentially can... related to the original stuff, anyway. They can make this good, Tony. They have the technology. They can do it. <laughs> It's there. The blueprints are Who's going to head it up? up? Who's going to head it up? Filoni. Mm, don't get me wrong. I, I like he's Filoni. He's proven he can don't... have these reins. He directed this one, right? He I know he yeah, directed this episode, episode yeah. but uh, I, I don't know. I, I think he's a great visionary, but I just don't think he could juggle an ensemble like across. Well, Favreau you know, would still help him. I mean, Favreau's if Favreau would good. help him, I, I yeah, he's right. doing a pretty but, good job. Like if tomorrow, tomorrow they announce like Filoni is going to be a new guy, I'd be like, okay, you know what? I, I have faith in him, you know, as opposed to like literally anybody else they named. I'd be like, mm, I don't right. know about that, stuff like that. But uh, the thing with the, the shared universe is like, I want the new story. I want new stories. I want stories with characters that either haven't had, you know, time in their their limelight. Like this is the first time we've heard about what happened to Ahsoka in. Oh like, God, yeah, since Rebels, since the end of Rebels. Right. Went off so speed, well, another course. question is, does it take place ago? before or after Rebels? After. That's, yeah. there's, a, there's an article where Filoni was talking about that, where it's, he said, that you don't know when this took place. This could have taken place at the same time as the end of Rebels. Hmm. Rebels took place before uh, episode four. Yeah, well, we don't know when Rebels finished, like in terms of the timeline. I don't think, well, did, didn't that set up for the Death Star right away? I mean, is she still looking for Bridger, yeah. whatever his name I is? I think she Ezra? still would be, yes. Ezra? Ezra? Yeah, so, all right. but, or maybe she found him and that didn't end well. And that's why she's looking for Thrawn. Or maybe that's why she's like sending him to the temple and be like, all right, maybe a Jedi. 
we'll find him. Oh, wink, wink. Oh, so we'll who him. do we think that is? Do, we, do you think it's another past character? Do we get somebody new for this? I mean, what do you think? Do you think it's Cal? No. <laughs> I say Cal because I have a Cal figure over here. Sorry. That would be nice. <laughs> Nice Maybe it is Ezra. Shout out to me, but it could be Ezra. I thought I thought Cal though is what I thought. But where did I, you say the planet was? I forget. It wasn't a named I planet think. from uh, the uh, the game. I know that. I looked that up afterwards because people, have been, for whatever reason, people were talking about. Oh, this could be related to Fallen Order. I'm like, how? Where? Well, he's listen. It, like I'm thinking about getting an actor, right? Like uh, they're not going to get Mark Hamill to do this. He won't reprise Luke. There's no way. Uh, also, he, he's, but. To be but that guy, younger. the guy that played Cal, is 100% game to play whatever role you give him. I, I feel like, <laughs> um, and uh, you know, he can mm-hmm. reprise that role very fast. So I could see him yeah, being that uh, one. I doubt it, especially since they're probably you know, their story beats they're working on for the next game that they probably don't want to interfere with. But I don't know. This is why it's under one house of mouse, Mike. Hmm. Well, again, we'll see what happens with that. I still, I'm still skeptical about all of that, with you know, everything that's happened with TV and Netflix in the past. Yeah. Well. Oh, that. Oh God, that's the news. Sorry. We get. We are we ready to move on from yeah, the. Uh, I think okay. So. Let's move on. I think we, we're going to do like. We'll get into depth. I'm. I'm glad we're covering this show in the episodes because if we tried to do this in the spoiler cast, we'd be talking for like six hours, seven hours in the podcast. Um. So anyways, moving on, that ties into the fact that the rights for Daredevil have reverted back to Marvel. And there has been a Save Daredevil on Twitter trending like crazy with all the actors posting it. Uh, everybody's kind of championing behind Disney to bring Charlie Cox back as Matt Murdock. Um, what do we think? Odds? I I think they're mm-hmm. higher than you thought. Odds are like uh, 50-50 would, at this point yeah, for at least I, 10. I would, I think 50 50 is a good amount of odds for something we thought was dead, right? Yeah. I think, well, if they're going to bring Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire into the MCU, well, then they not, better as well. Not, like, they're not really bringing them into the MCU. They're just there as like glorified cameos, I'm sure. For Oh, look, I'm there's just say, All I'm saying is Jimmy Fox can come back, Daredevil can come back. I think that it's it's all it's all game now. Like anything that came out is up for grabs. But, but I, I think there's a big difference between like you know sort of canonizing him as Daredevil and being like, oh, there's an alternate universe where Daredevil is this, you know. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, and if they do, I mean, you get Vincent D'Onofrio. I don't know how you say yeah. his last name. Which, get again, him back. I love his kingpin. Best kingpin mm-hmm. I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, I'd be all for it if they wanted to revitalize that cast and either continue where they left off or just reboot. I I don't know. Um, Because, I mean, I guess all the shows have been vague enough to, like, not really trample on any of the plans for the phases and stuff like that, where it could just be like, yeah, whatever happened, you know, something like that. But um, I don't know. I just think they have their hands full with them. because they wouldn't do a movie. I don't think they'd do a movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they're, they have their hands full as is with the existing shows that are in development, you know, WandaVision and... Um, oh, Captain, yeah. Like, yeah Miss Marvel's, She-Hulk, yeah, Ms. Marvel, Moon Knight. Like that. Yeah, uh, exactly. I mean, don't get me wrong. property yeah the um, other thing so, is my understanding is that filming in new york is very expensive these days because there used to be some kind of tax break for filming in mm-hmm. new york city to you know whatever and i think that expired which i think also had a lot to do with why marvel or you know disney didn't want to renew the netflix contract or something like that so yeah. if, if they're gonna front the whole bill I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Nope. Again, I love it. Like, you know, to get more of that, but uh, I just don't see it. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I, I think it, it'd be great to bring that property back, but I mean, with him attached to it, that whole cast loved playing those roles. So 
um, even just having small parts for them right now in their current universe would be, I think, okay for that. They, I think a lot of them would do it. We, you know, we finally got a Punisher that was fantastic Punisher. Like, yeah. I, I would love to see him play the Punisher again. So, so anyway, they forget about Iron Fist though. Oh, who? I forgot. I don't about know. Well, who are you talking about? I mean, the what other happened? problem with that is the way that they ended that is there's like two or zero Iron Fists by the end of that. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, I don't know. All right. Uh, Mads Mickelson replacing Johnny Depp as Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts. As we heard, Johnny Depp was oh, ejected God. from the role. I don't want to get. His, I don't want to get into this, to be honest. Thanks to his um, uh, feud with his ex-wife. Is it ex-wife? Are they currently still married? No, no, I don't think they are. <laughs> so the thing, the uh, thing about this that's so weird is he actually just lost a libel suit that he started against a tabloid. But because he lost that, that means he's guilty of what the tabloid said is the logic i guess See, i've heard the other side of things where it was her that was abusive and and there's like yeah, a lawsuit well, with that that's that's they that's both like thing. sued each other for being abusive but then, yes to one but then that's what's going on to the mm-hmm. either way this is a bad domestic dispute that doesn't need to spill into movies so the thing I, is I, though I this like this though is impacting I, I, I do think it impacts her role as Mira, which I think they're going to cut way back in Aquaman 2 because of this whole thing. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I agree. So I don't know, but it, it, it's, it's a weird thing. Yeah, Matt yeah, Nicholson, I, 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 Aquaman 2? Hmm? Did they start filming that yet? Uh, I think they have. Yes, I think they, I think they have, actually. I, I don't know with COVID anymore. I don't know what got put on hold and what then get started. All um, right. So... But anyways, um, Matt Mickelson's great. I like that guy. Yeah, he's a great actor. Um, uh, he's been he's been fantastic. Bond villain. He's been um, mm. Rogue One. He's a Star Wars character. I mean, he's he's been all, he's been in a lot of roles. So um, I do like his. I, I I think he's a great role for Grindelwald. So Death Stranding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Death Stranding. That's right. Uh, let's go with more bad news. Um, well, either one here. Well, it's, first of all, Joss, we uh, leaving his show. The Nevers on the HBO series uh, as the director saying that he's just um, dealing with fatigue and doesn't want to work with the show. Mm, fatigue. As there is a lot of issues about to blow up with his name on it. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I just – the more you hear about this thing, like, where well, there's smoke, there's fire, right? I mean, th- th- that's the problem right now. It's not like a one-off kind of thing. You hear a lot of it, and there's a lot of it. And then now he's stepping back from a project he was working on, and it's just like, uh, that's not looking good for you, bud. You know? So. Again, I don't know. I don't know. what. It, there's still sort of nothing concrete, really. But whatever. Yeah. Uh, David Prowse, unfortunately, the actor who played um, Darth Vader, the original actor, in the, in the suit, Thighs at uh, 85. Um, he passed away, unfortunately. Um, yeah, there's there's yeah, rumors. So. I don't know if they're true or not that it was COVID related, hmm. but I'm not uh, sure. I don't know. You know, we throw yeah. that out there easily these days. I don't know. But uh, um, you know, it's 85. I got my um, but my Death no. Star on. It, it he was sort of famously like kind of feuding with Lucas and pretty much everyone else for a little bit there which was unfortunate but you know it does seem like nice everyone has given him some respect here at this point um but hayden christensen will get all the love as darth vader right oh yeah he gets <laughs> tons of love <laughs> yeah no i think um yeah i don't know it's sad to see him go i mean it's like iconic the way he hold, held himself like in, in the costume and stuff i just i don't know it's it's um so, I don't know. Um, let's see what else we have here. We've got other bad, I mean, not bad news. And this was cool what Marvel did with the Black Panther movie, where they changed the intro of that to honor um, uh, Chadwick Boseman. Um, it was his very recently, I think. Yeah, so they changed the whole intro, which, I mean, going back to our conversation last week, um, like, yeah, definitely not looking to recast ever for him, I think, right? Is that what we're going with now? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Well, the yeah. T'Challa so, character, the T'Challa character, yeah. T'Challa, yeah, T'Challa. So we'll have another Black Panther, but it's going to be in a different. I mean, name that's the thing, at least that. with this, is like in the lore, at least you have 
precedent for it. Yeah. Yeah, so um all right, what else we got? Uh let's see. I think that's it. Did I skip one? No, uh, I got it all. Uh, Elliot Page. Oh, Elliot Page. I forgot about that. Um, no, I thought that, you know, what was crazy is like, oh, Ellen Page, Elliot Page now uh, has come out as transgender on um, Twitter uh, and everywhere, actually, uh, to everybody and saying, you know, that she's Elliot Page now. And, um, you know, I support that. I, I thought he that, is Elliot I, Page now. Yeah, uh, he. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I thought that like I knew that I guess I knew that she was gay. I didn't know that. I thought she I really thought that she came out as that before. I really did. I'm no, sorry. She came he, out did. As he did. He did. He did. He did. Sorry. He. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Well, I mean, I think <laughs> uh, it's just a matter of now that she was gay. He is transgender. There you go. I know. I know. I know. I meant he. Yeah. I, I thought that he did that. I thought I really did. I'm sorry. I thought it was Elliot they... Page in the credits before. Yeah, I really did. I thought it was like, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, why is that being reported today? I thought that was already done. Like, I thought they did that before. <laughs> so, no, uh, like in Umbrella Chronicles, is... I had to go back. I'm like, is that Ellen Page in the credits? I'm like, oh, it must have been. Okay. So, but hey, you know, hey. Kudos for, for the courage, you know, courageous to come out and, and do that and st- take a, a stand for those rights. And, uh, you know, you know, definitely something that is very difficult being a pu- person in the public eye, oh, especially that, where yeah. like you have a oh, spotlight your, on you and in your yeah. life. It's like you can't yeah, just live matter. the life you want to live and you can't be the person you feel that you are because you have all these like expectations and standards and these things people are telling you all over the place. So it must've been very difficult. And I give her a lot of, or give him a lot of credit. The biggest question is on acting as an active actor in a show, what happens? Well, I mean, actors play characters. They don't play themselves. Yeah, Yeah, I understand that. He'll play the same, he'll play the same roles. Really? I don't think you see. Uh, Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's like Umbrella Chronicles is, Academy, I'm crying. Umbrella Academy. I mean, yeah, there's definitely going to be people that are not not going to like this, and th- that I'm, I'm sure that he had to weigh those decisions as far as becoming just, becoming the person he wanted to be. And uh, yeah, there's potential to lose jobs or lose offers and things like that. Not, but I just mean like if <laughs> the role I feel, that I feel like if you have a problem with this in this day and age. What do you want those? That's not about the problem. It's about what what role are you going to be in a show? If, like, I guess we'll if find out. Like, what? I don't understand. Think, what's the again, like future? actors like, play characters. Well, they don't, so, no, like, I understand they play they characters. Want. But let's say there's another season of Umbrella Academy. What what is her, her or his character? Vanya. Forward? It's still Vanya. Yeah, but does that yeah. does that character change too? To transgender? Well, no, I don't, it depends on what if that's the role that she, that he's playing. He doesn't yeah, have to play like, a transgender character just so they're transgender. I mean, the actor, if the, if the actor's gay and they play a straight character, like, do they make oh, the straight character because gay because the, the actor's gay? No. The yeah, that's, the same, that's the same oh, point. No. Yeah, that's the perfect no, point. There's, I understand your confusion, Mike. I understand what you're it's saying. But the whole reason why you change your, that is to change the gender. So if the original character is a female and then you are a male, then the character is fundamentally different. So... Would you have? Would she not even? I guess it depends on if, like, if, they, if I, Elliot Page is deciding to take the hormones and go through a whole body transformation. That could d- definitely make a difference, but I don't know if that's the case here. I just think that if, you know, if, if, then if it's going to be up to the, the actor as well. Like maybe the actor doesn't feel comfortable playing characters of that gender anymore. Like, you don't I mean, know. It's, like it's it's, it's all just, up in the it's air. A, it's a we'll tough out. thing of, and during an active <laughs> role. That's what I'm for an actor that's all i'm saying it, it right. it's it complicates things and that's that. one of the things that makes it so difficult for these you know people to be able to make these decisions because they have to weigh all that and you know put their careers on the line put their well-being uh out there in front of people and you know it's uh, absolutely got to way heavy you know it's uh something that probably was a lot of stress and pressure on on them the whole time so mm-hmm. But yeah, again, the, the actors play characters. I, I don't see a problem. So. Yeah, no, I don't see that. I don't see an issue with it. Like as long as as long as he still wants to fill that role. I mean, you got Joanna, man. Come on. You're playing that role. Like it's up to her. No. Like up to him if if he wants to play that role of that character. Yeah. Still, maybe he just decided he's like, you know what, I'm done playing female characters now. Right. That's cool. That's, like, whatever. That's, that's, yeah. that's that's what I'm questioning with it. That's all. But, so like, why does it matter? It's his choice. 
It, the yeah, it may not be. Like, unfortunately, it's because that would make, make thing you thing lose the roll that you're on. So you know, mm-hmm. right? I'm not sure he you will. You know. will be in your health, mental health though. Is comes first, I would think. I would hope. Like, I think honestly, like I, Mike, I know what you're saying, but it's, I think you're overthinking the situation. It's pretty straightforward. Like you're, they're an actor playing a role. It's based on how they how they want to portray that character. And, and if they you know, they got comfortable. that. And, yeah. and so, he yeah. already got this role based on how he played the character. So that's not going to change. That's yeah. at the base. I mean, Unfortunately, that's it. That's it. it could though, Jim. That's the thing. Unfortunately, uh, maybe yeah, they no. don't. Feel, but again, that's we don't know. It's just, we'll see what happens. So hopefully, everything works out and they can, yeah. you know, move, move forward with the same cast. I would hope. That's, I love that show. The show's awesome. Yeah, this has been a.